It's Tuesday, May 17th, 2016, and if you think self-driving cars are either a great idea or a self-driving disaster waiting to happen, we're sure you're going to be happy to hear about a new startup called Auto, which is for self-driving trucks, as in semis, big rigs, 18-wheelers, driving by themselves. Okay, references to hokey 80s movies aside, we must say we're intrigued. Turns out Otto was founded by an ex-Google engineer who built Google's self-driving car. He and three other ex-Googlers are hoping to bring self-driving safety to trucks by ditching human drivers altogether. And in truth, truck driving has been edging in this direction for a while now, with more and more autonomous features finding their way into trucks, like these Volvos which can drive in reverse using automated guidance, but there's still a driver at the wheel for now. The developers say that their focus is on highway driving only to start, since that's where trucks spend most of their time, and that's where most accidents involving big rigs take place. We wish them luck. Twitter is about to give you more room to write. No, the 140 character limit isn't getting a bump, but photos and links will no longer count against that limit, according to Bloomberg. The change hasn't been implemented yet, but it could happen in the next few weeks as Twitter CEO and founder Jack Dorsey tries to rescue the slowly sinking Twitter ship. Founded in 2006, before Apple kicked off the smartphone revolution, Twitter's 140 character limit was initially designed to fit the display capabilities of that era's flip phone and other small screen devices. Now that the world runs on smartphones, that limit seems a bit unnecessary. Bloomberg says they even considered raising the character limit to 10,000, but decided the 140 character limit was what helped set the service apart. Twitter has some 330 million users, but adoption has stagnated while services like Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram have surged. The stock is near an all-time low, and Twitter's future may be in doubt unless Dorsey decides to sell it. Hmm. Now, who has the cash for that? It's not every day we get excited over a graphics card, but seeing how VR and 4K games keep ramping up the performance demands for our PCs, we're happy to report that Nvidia has risen to the challenge with the new GTX 1080, a gaming powerhouse with a lot of new tech under the hood. Top of the list, it's the first GPU to feature 16 nanometer chip tech. Graphics cards have been stuck in the 28 nanometer realm for four years now, and our friends at PC World say the new 1080's performance is insane compared to today's top shelf cards. It also features the new GDDR5X memory tech and Pascal architecture if you're keeping track at home. All those features add up to more speed, more speed, and a bit more speed. The top performing founder's edition of the card will cost 700 bones when it comes out. With VR coming on strong and 4K gaming becoming more commonplace, you're probably going to need it, so start saving now. We've got the rest of the day's tech news at digitaltrends.com, and be sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We'll be back again tomorrow.